Okay, good day to everyone. Um, this is our report, but before we start, let us pray. Our great Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege that we could um, report, also study and learn. Thank you for everything, for the blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, discipleship um, journey survey, the result of Kabasan and this church youth survey done by Castro Ryan and yours truly, Dave Bird Orla. Kabasan and this church background. So, this is the brief history of Kabasalan Church. In 1958, the Seventh-day Adventists began to expand in the area of Samwanga Peninsula. The elder coming from Basilan area, namely Bakaluna, had his way to Barangay Pabasalan in the year 1958. He started to share the word of God until few precious souls took notice it and accepting accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior. Time came, the family Kaduyak devoted their lives in the ministry and they started home worship at the uh, elder's house. Time passed, especially in 1961, the congregation decided to build a church in Barangay, Lombayao. That is the first 70 Adventist church in the municipality of Kambasala. So in 1995 to 1996, since the growth of the church continue its progression, the members of the church decided to build, to rebuilding the church to make it concrete one. So that's the brief history. Then the mission and vision. So make mission, make disciples of Jesus Christ who leave us his loving witness and proclaim to all people the everlasting gospel of the three angels messages in preparation for his own return. The vision in harmony with Bible Revelation 70 Adventists see the as the climax, climax of God's plan, the restoration of all his creation, the full harmony with his perfect will and righteousness. That, and the church membership the church book tells that uh, 800 plus members and the updated members or active members are more or less 100, 100 and estimated active youth attendee more or less 30 attendee youth attendee then uh, our number of respondents are 20. And then, Kabasalan with this church survey result. So, the uh, purpose of survey to know the strength or potential of the young people of Kabasalan within this church. Second, to know the areas for growth as faithful discipleship, disciples. Third, to recommend discipleship plans addressing the needs as dedicated by, this, by the assessment. So here's the each bracket, each of the respondents. So from the bracket of 13 through 16, we have six respondents. Then 17 to 20, we have three. And then 21 to 25, majority, um, 10, um, 10 respondents. And 26 above, one respondent. So the majority each bracket, um, was um, 21 to 25. We have 10 respondents. So overall, total respondents, 20. And here's the group average. So, so what we can see is what we have um, before the slide, slides. So 10 respondents, 25, 21 to 10, 25. We have uh, 10 respondents. So here's the point of questionnaire, we use the same um, section or point of questionnaire as others uh, use. So first, the first 
deep relationship with Jesus, second, spiritual disciplines, third, exhibiting fruit of spirit, fourth, committed to soul winning and IEL, fifth, understanding and practice students, just sixth, um, involvement in church activity and other so the last one is church relevance to community parishioners or, or parishioners. So here we go. First section, the relationship with Jesus. So here's the result. So the word of God is the most important authority in our decision of my everyday life. So majority very much um, um, most of them answered very much with 70%. And second, second, so most of them answered very much with 75%. And the third question, um, 95%, most answered, most of them answered very much, very much. And the fourth, 65%, they answered very much. And Fifth and uh, questions with very much the answered most 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 of them answered seventy percent. So here's the result: the group average of first section the personal relationship with Jesus ninety four percent. So that's uh, I think this is the highest one. Then second spiritual disciplines. So first question, uh, most of them or half of them answered very much with the, with the average forty percent. Then second six sixty five percent forty percent. Third question, the Bible is powerful guide in making this in my life. With average seventy five percent, the the most um, the, the we answered uh, very much, especially in number five. So here's the group or the result: spiritual disciplines with the average eighty seven percent. Here's the third uh, section. Accepting fruit of the spirit. So as what we the, as what we can see, um, the third question is the, uh, the answered very much with the with the average seventy percent. So I think this is the lowest um, result on the survey with the seventy seven percent. Exhibiting product of spirit. And fourth, committed to soul winning and AL. First question, second question, fourth question, third question, fifth question. So this is the result. Oh, this is committed to soul winning. So this is the lowest one with a 75%. So, fifth, understanding and practice is the messages. So, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, most number, uh, question number five, the answered very much. Most of them answered very much with a uh, with average 75%. So understanding and practice is the messages, the result, the group result is 82.2%. So involvement in church activity, uh, it's the last. So first, second, third, fourth, as what we can see. Uh, most of them answered very much. In the first question, 50%. Same question, 70%, very much. Um, 70%, 80, 75%. So here's the, the result with the average 92% involvement in church activity. So the last one, 
church relevance to community and person or personals. So there's the as what we can see the each question the answer very much. So here's the result, 90.6%. So here's the group average. Um, so this is the group average. Section one, 94.2%, section two, 87. So section three, 77%, section four, um, 75 percent, section five, six, seven. Below the and this is the highest potential, the five highest potentials. First, the personal relationship with Jesus. At what is what the, the data said 94.2 percent and spiritual discipline, it's seven percent. Third, understanding. Practice is the messages with the 82%, 82.2%. Fourth, involvement in church activity and outreach, and 92%. Five church relevance to community personnel or parishioners, 90.6%. So here's the areas for growth. We have two exhibiting for the spirit, 77%, and second committed to soul winning in IA with average 75.4%. So here's the summary, deep relationship with Jesus, 94%, spiritual disciplines, 97%, understanding and practice, deep messages, 0.2%, and the involvement in church activity and outreach, 92%, and five church relevance community parishioners, 90.6% exhibiting, portal spirit, civil discipline, percent and commit so winning and I am 75.4 percent so here's the analysis it is fascinating to note that the personal relationship with Jesus is the highest with average 94.2 percent and the lowest is committed so winning and I am with an average of 74 percent so the personal relationship with Jesus would naturally drive a disciple to reach other people so that they may know him Based on the data, it can be observed that majority of those who are significantly low in committed to soul winning are also relatively low in deep personal relationship with Jesus. So there's data also project that all of the respondents have in one way or another committed themselves to soul winning. That's soul winning. I was feeling at the very least. The responders are committed on the level of deepening relationship, and I commit myself, my commit my ability, availability to the ministry. However, the greater aspect of soul winning, such as dedicating a special time for personal effort with a very significant percent in personal ministry aside from the church initiated time, the average of 20 percent appear to be the areas where the youth of Kamsalan, Kamasalan and this church needs to work out. So here's the recommendation. First, after its involvement, seminars. Second, lecture and promotion on social empowerment. Third, basic discipleship training. This is very uh, need or very essential. Fourth, annual evaluation of spiritual growth. Fifth, promote involvement in care group uh, last one community outreach. So, Kambasalan and Buddhist Church, one year discipleship, and my companion will report in this, um, in this part. Once again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, by the way, my part this afternoon is to continue to give a report of Salan Adventist Church one year discipleship disciples discipleship plans. Uh, I gonna share to you our intention and our plan uh, on Kabasalan and how we get to improve. Kabasalan Adventist Church one year discipleship plan. Hear what you expect from 
because we need to improve the committed soul winning and the exhibiting fruit of the spirit. So this is what you expect throughout the throughout the year. Our discipleship plan overview. A first quarter down to fourth quarter, you expect these followings, personal trainings, basic training, mission training, mission practice, and commencement. And also you expect small group activities, growing in Christ, lessons in church activities. Personal training. In personal training, we have this following, basic training, mission training, mission practice, and commencement. Then next, what you expect is personal training, basic training, we have a prayer. And we have this shortcut, shortcuts, I mean shortcut, uh, the, what we call acts. The acts, it involves adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Then second quarter of the personal training, we have a mission training, Bible study. So we have the word read. Uh, it includes reading, explain, up, application, and dedication. Also in third quarter, we have mission practice, outreach. We have this highlight port. Port, it, it means family and friends, outreach program, recreational activities and testimonies. And in fourth quarter, we have mission commencement. It's very important for our, for our student commencement. Uh, it includes appreciation, words of thanksgiving, affirmation, reward, and also dedication, dedication prayer. And small groups activities, what you expect in first quarter down to fourth quarter, we have this following building small groups, sending outreach, doing outreach, and speaking outreach. We have also first quarter building small group, making small group. Uh, in making small group, we have age, occupation, interest, residence, and etc. Second quarter, we have sending for beginner, no personal interaction needed. But uh, we have these following send messages, messenger, email, Facebook, deliver books and pamphlets, deliver a mission paper, sign of the times. And in third quarter, we have this small group activity doing for learner. Uh, what they do is this participate in the community services, hospital and jail visitations. Also in fourth quarter, we have small group activities speaking for elder, the elder need or they are required to speak, to involve, giving advice, share experience, facilitate, Bible study, etc. And also in growing in Christ, uh, first quarter down to fourth quarter, we have who is Jesus, tip to Jesus, humble servant, and likely leaders, and more. And first quarter in growing in Christ, we have who is Jesus. So the people, their need to know who is Jesus. And this is the, uh, and this is the answer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So we need to introduce Jesus to them. Jesus is full, full God and human. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus is the Lord from the beginning and the end. Jesus saves, etc. In second quarter of growing in Christ, listen the parables of Jesus Christ. And we have this, the lambs, pick and the lag, new clothes on new garment, the divided kingdom, the sower, the weeds among, among the wet, the mustard seed, the leaven, hidden treasure, the thin virgins, and etc. And in third quarter, in growing in Christ, we have the miracles of Jesus Christ. So we need also to introduce them what is the miracles that Jesus Christ did during his ministry. And we have this marriage at Cana, raising of Lazarus, Jesus walked on water, healing the mothers of Peter's wife, healing the deep, mute of Decapolis, healing the blind at birth, Christian Christ healing an infirm woman, and etc. Also, we have the church activities, first quarter down to fourth quarter. This is what you expect throughout the year, lectures and basic trainings, church outreach, community services, evangelistic meetings. In first quarter, with that church activity, we have lectures, basic trainings, and it in involves involvement trainings, outreach trainings, social integration seminars, workshop trainings, etc. In second quarter, we have church activity and it 
include church outreach. Okay, in church outreach, we have church visitation, home visitation, we have brethren's house visitations and outing activities in third quarter of church, church activity, community service. We have jail visitation, hospital visitation, feeding program, lady program, helping and giving program. And in fourth quarter, we have evangelistic meetings, youth evangelistic meetings, elders evangelistic meetings, camp evangelistic meetings, and also the last crusades. Kabasalan Adventist Church, one week teaching lessons. Actually, this is very important in order for us to address the needs of the church. So we have this one week teaching lessons. In Sunday, we have God letter to us. We need to introduce to them the Bible and we need to expound what is found in the Bible and what they expect uh, inside of the Bible. And the text is sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. So first we need to introduce to them that God's word is truth. So we can rely on it and they can rely on it as well. In Monday, in Monday we have okay. Monday. Monday seen its origin. Also, we need to uh, expound something about sin and its origin because some of the people, Christians outside, they don't have any background about sin and its origins. So the text, the main text is found in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. It says, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil seen from the beginning. The introduction is the origin of sin is an enigma that cannot be fully unraveled. However, one certainty remains beyond questions. God is not the author of sin. Monday sin its origin. So the ori origin of evil this is the sub topic. And we have also the fool. And we have the redemption. And we have the love. Of God in first John chapter 4, verse 16, God is love. And in Tuesday, we have the way to Christ. Also, we need to introduce to them that Jesus Christ is the way. In John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the introduction is the faith which receives salvation comes through the divine power of the word and is the gift of God's grace. Through Christ, we are justified, adopted as God's sons and daughters and delivered from the lordships of sin. And also the subtopic is faith, confessions and forgiveness. And we have repentance, conversions, or the new birth. And in Wednesday, we have the law of God. Also, this is very important. Uh, we need to introduce to them the law of God. The Ten Commandments is included. Uh, in Psalm chapter 19, verse 8, it says, The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. Commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Introduction, the great principles of God's law are embodied in the Ten Commandments and exemplified in the life of Christ. They express God's love, will, and purpose concerning human conduct and relationships and are binding upon all people in every age. And also we have the subtopic of the wins, the law of God, the law of God and perpetuity of the law. And then we have the moral and ceremonial laws and we have the law and the gospels. And then Thursday we have coming events and signs in Luke chapter 21 verse 27 and then shall this see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and with glory. Introductions, the Savior's coming will be literal personal, visible, and worldview. The second coming of Christ is the blessed hope of the church, the grand climax of the gospel. And the subtopic is sign of the times. We need to introduce the sign of the, the times as well. Conflict between capital and labor. And Christ's second coming. Lastly, we have manners of Christ's coming. And in Friday, the Holy Spirit. We need to share something about them, the background of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And the churches God bestows upon all members of his church in every age 
his spiritual gifts, which each member is to employ in loving ministry for the common good of the church and humanity. And the subtopic is Holy Spirit work. And another subtopic is growth of the spirit. We have the gifts of the spirit. And we have also the outpouring of the spirit. And I think in Saturday, Sabbath. So it is, it is very important and also fascinating topic, uh, especially to us, to the Seventh-day Adventists. We need to introduce to the people outside that what is the importance of Sabbath. The text is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And the introductions, the beneficent creator, after the six days of creation rested on the seventh day and instituted the Sabbath for all people as a memorial of creation. And we have the topic, institutions of the Sabbath. Uh, let me read this. this. Genesis chapter two, verse one to two says, this the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them and on the seventh day God indeed his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And the subtopic is institutions of the Sabbath and God's memorial and Christ and the Sabbath. And lastly, we have the Sabbath of the New Testament found in Matthew chapter 20, verse 1. It says, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. And that's all. I think all is well. Amen. That's all. Thank you.